Hello and welcome to programming. This is going to be the first episode of a series I'm making to show you how to make a game. Um, this is going to be called Be Shaped. The game is ex uh, a clone of the game called Be Jewed. And when you make three of the same shapes, you get scores. So, first, let me show you in this video the graphics, the tools, and the game window. Let's go grab the graphics. So, go to my channel and then copy the link for the source code and then open it. Go to download, go to shape. That's it. And then click on that one. That should download it. And you're going to need to extract it. Now extract it to the project folder. In my case, I put it in YouTube and clipped. Extract that and then say close now go to the IDE of course I'm showing you how to do it in Eclipse it should be relatively easy to do it in other IDE so let's go ahead and create a new Java project we're going to give it the name exactly, the name of the game, and then we're going to need to add a new library to it. If, we have, if you haven't created Java FX library yet, please watch the video that I show you how to get started with Eclipse, with Java FX with Eclipse. So if you already have JavaFX library set up, just click on that, say finish. Now you should be able to start coding the game. First we'll make the package. Let's call it game.beshaped. And the project doesn't seem to know any graphics that we just extracted. So we're gonna copy that and clips. Mm, we can copy that and then put it inside be shaped. Now when we refresh this we should get a folder called shapes. Okay, do the following. Right click on it, create a new folder. Call it images. Do it again to create a new folder called SVG. Now drag background and logo to images and the SVG drag down to SVG folder you should be left with one two three four five six shapes images okay now we're ready f to make the game. So let's go ahead. Create a new game called Be Shaped. It's going to be extending application. Control 1 to select your effects. 
control one again to add implemented and then main control space enter uh, we're going to launch ARGS I'm going to tell you what I type so that you're not confused what I did because I uh, tend to use shortcut a lot when I code, when I'm coding. Hope you don't mind. Uh, I'm going to be doing what I've been showing you on um, every other JavaFX tutorial. So I'm not going to say anything mm, too boring about it. Next. and then Now control shift O to select all appropriate import classes. We want to show the user the background of the game, so this is how you can do it. Show background. Let's call it background image ground is going uh the background is gonna need image. So we're gonna tell it that it's in what we call images and then background. Again control chip O and select the correct classes. Now add the background to the root by root.get children and then add background. Now when run this we should get that and we want to get rid of all the border of the window. So here's what we do. We're gonna clear up the color. So we're gonna set background color to be transparent. And we go we gonna initialize the style to be transparent. When we run this, we should get that. And right now, the user doesn't have any way to close it. So the only way to close it would be alternate F4. Any, anyway, sometimes I run it by right click and then go to that menu. Sometimes I just run it by go to that um, that uh, menu bar by going to shortcut alternate R so if you see that and then I hit R again it will be something like that that's how I run it once we have the background display we're gonna need um, a way to let the user close the game of course we're gonna do that by adding logo So we're going to do the same thing. Copy two of the command above. Rename this to logo.
and change the background to logo should be fine when we run it the only thing that is not right about it is that uh, the logo happened to be on the upper left corner we want to put it uh, on the upper, upper right corner of the uh, the background so we're going to need to set translate it that should be 340 translate y should be that that should be okay we need to move left a little bit that should be fine now now still the same the user doesn't cannot interact with it yet we're gonna add interaction by set on mouse click Anyway, I'm new to Eclipse, so if you have a better way on how to complete this without typing the whole thing, please tell me. Again, Control Shift O, add that, add that. Control One. Now since we're gonna exit the application we should call that running this and use a click it should close that right away now we're gonna need to show the gem in between those area to get the gem we're gonna need to get all the shaped images now let's see how can we um, let, let's do that here so load all the images let's keep all of those images in NRA do we know how many they are uh, we encode that and then load it one by one or we can list the whole directory and keep all the file name into shapes okay list um, the method list inside a file it's going to return all the name of the files um, inside that directory so this is exactly the one we want we are going to iterate through the shapes and then say image is i equal to we don't have the variable called images yet images is going to be an array of image do we know how many they are we do now by checking the length of the shapes and each of the image should be inside shape and shapes at i now we got all the image all the images we are gonna need to randomly place them inside the background area which will which will be a table two dimensional array rows by column
column and each one of them we can call it cell and each of the image will be image view so that's two dimensional array of image view call cells and how many do we want let's see by number of rows and column six by six so we are going to create the cells now see less than column cells at R and C is new image view we should put a random image in there where the random image is an image from images with random index random index is going to be from 0 to um, less than the number of images so how do I get that we're gonna be using a random class Control one and hit enter. That should be one random class in there. Suggest that for you. So this is how we can get random index. Random that next int. If giving it integer n, it should be random from zero to n minus one. So from n minus n minus 1 n being the length of the images the number of images now nobody can see this unless we can we get the children that add the cells to it now when we run this it place all everything in at uh, the upper left corner which will have to do the same thing by reposition each of the cell by setting translate X and translate Y translate H should be that equation okay now we need to push it down and push it to the right a bit so it should start from on the left let's uh, give it 40 40 by 40 now we can so you need to put it down a little bit. Fifty. Would that be fine? Okay, that's good enough. So, um, basically, that um, is for the starting of the game. It should be it for episode one, which I already show you the graphic the graphics, the tools and the game window and that is it for episode 1 of the making of the B-shape so see you again in the next video thank you